Accentuating catch lights will make your portrait sparkle, and I'm going to show you two ways to achieve this dramatic effect. First, we're going to use the Dodge Tool. You'll find that here in your tool palette. We want to select a small brush. I have mine set at 12 pixels with a zero hardness. You want to set the range to highlights. If yours isn't already set to highlights as mine is, you'll click the downward facing arrow and then choose from the selection box. Your exposure, you'll want to set at a very low number. I have mine set at 5% and be certain that Protect Tones is turned on. I'm going to go to Window, Arrange, New Window for Catch Lights, and I'm going to leave that open so that I can watch my progress as I work. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to go over to my layer entitled Dodge Brush and I'm going to zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing. And with my brush, I'm just going to begin lightly stroking over the eye, paying close attention to where the catch lights naturally appear. And then you can see the effect has been applied. Now, you want to make sure you don't overdo it. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to toggle on my blend mode layer so that I can see my photo before I apply the changes. And thus far, you can't really see any dramatic difference. So I'm going to continue painting. Now you want to be sure to monitor your photo as you work so that you're sure you're not overdoing this effect. I think that looks really good. I'm going to once again toggle this layer on and now I can actually see the difference. So I'm going to stop there. Next I'm going to show you another way to increase your catch lights and this time we're going to do it with blend modes. So. I'll just click on the blend mode layer to activate it. I'm going to zoom in to about 200%. I'm going to grab my polygon lasso tool. I have a feather set at 0.5 pixels and I have anti-alias checked. If you're not good with selections then the brush method will definitely be for you but if you're not good get good because actually it's really quite simple. In fact, so simple a caveman could do it. With your selection made, you want to right click, layer via copy. I'm going to go to my blend modes and I'm going to set this to color dodge. And now you can see the dramatic effect that has been applied. Her eyes look like a crystal ball. This is actually gorgeous, but it's way too overdone. If you're going for an HDR photo, maybe this may fly, but we're going to tone this way down. I'm going to leave it right here at 12%. I'm actually going to grab my dodge tool and just go over the actual catch light right there. And when I'm happy with my changes, I'll go ahead and right click and merge down. And that's it. Those are two simple techniques for increasing the catch light in the eyes. Now what I'm going to do, as you can see, I did not touch her right eye at all. And if I zoom in, I'll show you why. Because this eye is completely flat and lifeless. This will not look good in a photograph. I could try to apply my dodge brush here, but I've already done that before I started this tutorial and it did not show any significant improvement whatsoever. So we're going to have to do something completely different here. And here is where you'll definitely want to be good with your selection tool. I'm going to once again choose my polygon lasso tool and I'm going to zoom way in to about 300% and I'm going to select just the colored portion of the eye.
You want to stay away from the perimeters because you want to make sure you're bringing in just the colored part of the eye. I'm going to right click, layer via copy, edit, transform, flip horizontal, zoom out. Then I'm going to grab my move tool and slide this over to the other eye. I'm going to zoom back in. Now as you can see this eye has a lot of hairs coming across it and we want to keep that in there to make this look as natural as possible. So what I'm going to do is set this layers blend mode to lighten and now you can see that the hairs are coming back through and I'll zoom out and see what that looks like pretty good and there you have it you've created a striking set of eyes in your portrait